We're handing out flyers here at University of Michigan in Ann Arbor, and they're avoiding the flyers like the plague. So what's the flyer say? So this flyer, it says it's 10 reasons to protect the unborn. We've heard it's a pretty liberal campus, so okay. we're, we're ready. Hey, yeah. what's happening? Just here defending life. All right, cool. It's great. Because we don't like the murder of unborn right. children. Yeah, I hate your face. If you don't want an abortion, don't have one. No, we're defending unborn. The unborn. If, you don't, if you don't want to. Hey guys, anyone who's not an idiot, come over here. Oh, not idiots. On our uh, side? Over here. <laughs> Fight the arguments here. I know. Yeah. I, we got 10 solid reasons. You want to explain your position? Yeah, I hate your face. Sit. Yeah, no, I'm not here to argue. I'm just finally here to laugh at you. You want to pray and act to end the sin of abortion. And how are you going to do that? by promoting a culture of purity, of chastity, by alerting the people to the errors and the harms so of abortion. So you don't want people so People want can people have marital relations, uh, right? Should, uh, in the context you. of the marriage you That's not an argument. Insults, insults are not arguments. Married. So do you have anything to say except vulgarisms? No, just vulgarism. Just, uh, just, just, just Is this representative of this university? I mean... Sure, yeah. Hi, class of 05 and 09. What gives you the right to stand here and tell somebody else what to do um, with their body? That, that's the debate. Is it your body? It is my body. Can you have two heads? This, yes, I can. This is two you can legs. Have, you, I can walk no, with it. I can heads. walk this direction, can that you have direction. Two heads, can you have two I can go. No, the baby is a fetus. Can you have two heads? No. What is, a fetus what is your point what is of having have? two heads? It's not your choice to kill. It is my choice. Look. It's my choice. Yeah, you can. You can choose to do that, but it's an immoral, it's an intrinsically wrong act. I did. It doesn't okay. matter. Why don't you say pray to end the sin of rape? Yeah, no, because I that's an intrinsically wrong thing. Do you? Have you? Sign Where's now? the sign? So this is the problem: so, the abortion, not so the rape, I have to have not a sign the unplanned for pregnancy. I believe in. I'm just We're saying you're the signs. one that's saying it's. Welcome. It's been very interesting. How's it going? Good. Yeah. Uh, we've already had quite a lot of debates and angry people, so. It didn't take them like three minutes, and I just went berserk. Pro choice. Pro choice. So I offer this one fellow a pro-life leaflet. And he just looked at me in the spat, right at my feet. That's disgusting. Just met the president of Students for Life and uh, also uh, one of the Students for Life workers. So. Oh, wow. So we're not alone. Not alone, no. I do know that life begins at conception. How do you know that? Because if you study embryology, life begins at conception. Have you studied embryology? I've studied enough to know. Uh, what, what's your profession when you're not doing this? My, my profession? Yeah. Do I need to be a doctor to know when life begins? Yes. Is every mother a doctor? No. Then how do they know when life begins? They can consult said, doctors. But you said it's their choice. It's their choice to avoid before a certain so, point, yeah. So that contradicts your argument that I need to be a doctor to know when life begins. No. I think that, you know, you're pretty brave for sharing your view, and it's good to, like, be informed about another person's perspective. How do you think hugs will help? I just want to know. We just want to support people today. Um, we're thinking about the women and girls on this campus who have had an abortion and have to walk past this. And it's offensive? Because it's not an easy choice, you know? Yeah, choice to kill someone. Making a new sign with crayons. I'm making assumptions. Are my assumptions right as a human being says I can make judgment about your character? You could judge me as a loud black woman. That's okay. I still think you're a bad guy. Whatever. Your judgments are allowed, and I'm going to judge you for what you're doing right now. Go ahead and judge me as a loud black woman, because that's exactly what I'm going to be. I don't know what she's saying. I don't know. <laughs> Just because it's different doesn't mean it's right to impose your way of being on someone else. Right. Do you think there's an objective truth? I think the one truth is that everyone's just being and that you can't control it. If I woke up this morning and said, that flagpole to me today is a gingerbread house, would that make it a gingerbread house? Yes or no? Perception is reality. In your perspective, it can be a gingerbread house. That's the thing. Perception is, is right reality. If I say you're Michelle Obama, does that make you Michelle no, Obama? I'm going to scream. I'm allowed to scream. I can raise my voice as loud as I want to and take it. We've been debating for about two hours, and the counter protest seems to be really picking up. So I think we're out of flyers. That's how long we've been here. I think we're out.
You were adopted from Russia? I am, yeah. Uh -huh. Abortion is a huge issue there. Um, under Soviet rule, women had an average of eight abortions in their lifetime. Um, the numbers have gone down, but it's still relatively much higher than most other places in the world. So I'm, I will always be pro-life for that reason. What do you think about the free hugs counter-protest out there? Well, I, I disagree, and I don't think shouting at people is going to help anyone. But, you know, at the end of the day, they have the right to do that. So. I'm if I, if I... I'm about to raise my voice! conversation might do more in changing hearts and minds though than screaming. Why are you eating it if you disagree with it? I don't understand. What did she do? I thought she spat. <laughs> well, no, it was a he. I think it was a he, if I can assume his pronouns. He like asked for a flyer, so I gave it to him, and then he like bent over and he started Growing up, I mean, it's right there on That's the ground. Disgusting. It's really. I am not going to film it. That is disgusting. So tall. We don't have to be tolerant of no, this. You're Your religion doesn't exist anymore. It's gonna die out within 30 years. You DJ. Kill yourself. You. What do you think about uh, the pro-choice side? Well, I mean, they're much more dignified. Uh -huh. They're not shouting. Yeah. TFP, Society for the Defense of Tradition, Family and Property. Yes, okay. ma'am. Yeah, at this point, the counter protests, they don't have anything else to say, and everybody else is just standing and watching. And a lot of people are taking the flyer, so I think we made a big difference today. Okay, so this is the first of a lot of different pro life campaigns we're going to be doing in Michigan. So we'll keep you posted. God bless. Tell us.